Hi guys! Welcome to Exposing Evil. I am your host, Lacey. If you're watching this, you have stumbled across my bitch you channel, or you are in one of my groups, Don't Fuck With Kids, uh, or QAnon Welcome to Wonderland. Thank you for being a part of this fight to expose evil and make pedophilia worldwide unacceptable. We are shifting the paradigm and trying to end human slavery, trafficking, and organ harvesting. This is a really difficult topic to approach. Um, it is not pretty. It is pretty sick and twisted. <laughs> it is um, very difficult to get people to accept that it's actually happening. But with what is going on now with the Wayfair scandal um, being broke open, that has started to bring things to the surface a bit. In addition to uh, the Michael Flynn case and uh, all the Hillary emails and, you know, just the um, rampant pedophilia in Hollywood. I could go on and on. Um, it is starting to come to, to the surface now. And I haven't always been a part of this fight. I've actually just gotten on um, this bandwagon myself in the last six months. Um, I've always been interested in advocacy. I did lead the March Against Monsanto back in 2012 here in my local community. Um, so I, I like to fight for truth and stand against injustices. So when I caught wind of what was going on um, in the underbelly of the beast here, I like to call it, um, I had to do something. It, it became... It became, um, it over, it just, it became a, basically a nightmare every night for me, um, to, to, like, even, it, it became my duty. It became my duty to, to fight this, um, once I was exposed to it. I just, like they say, those who know cannot sleep. So, how this got started for me is, once COVID hit, my dad had been talking to me about Q uh, for a few years now, and I kind of pushed him off like a crazy boomer conspiracy. We used to kind of like make fun of it, like it was boomer LARPing. But I've always been interested in the occult and the Illuminati and, and you know, going down the rabbit hole that way. And I knew that that existed. I mean, I've looked for the symbolism and, um, in, you know, the Super Bowl halftime shows in Hollywood movies um, for years now. I mean, I'm talking decades since I was like 15, 14. I've been interested in this stuff. Um, and now I'm in my 30s. So um, I've been studying this for quite a while now. And one thing that made me uh, certain that this was actually going on, like with the adrenochrome, that's pretty hard for some people to believe, is the um, background that I have in the occult. Um, to drink adrenalized blood of animals and humans, maybe, um, is a part of um, what's called the Red Dragon and the, King Solomon's teachings. So that's something that I had experienced other people doing and, and read about back when I was a young teenager, you know. Um, and then I <clears throat> picked up a copy of The Red Dragon when all this started, and I was reading it, and, you know, it reminded me of how deep this rabbit hole can really go. And, you know, people that believe this stuff are truly convicted, um, and they really, really believe that it works for them. You know, and magic, magic is everywhere. You don't need to be drinking baby's blood in order for your magic to uh, influence your life. <laughs> Um, so this has been ki kind of a controversial topic for me, and I've lost a lot of friends, and my dad was talking to me about it, and then COVID hit, and I, uh, you know, I started wondering, you know, how that could impact us, and I started digging, and the one thing that made me curious about it was I had just got done watching the Corey Feldman documentary um, and then Disneyland closed and I knew that Disneyland was a big Disney was a big player in the pedophile game um, and when Disneyland closed and then Tom Hanks got COVID and after that Golden Globes Ricky Gervais speech and the way Tom Hanks his face at first I was like oh Tom Hanks is so offended because he's so pure <laughs> and I got to thinking about it it's like oh my 
God, I got onto his Instagram and then I came across the Isaac Cappy video and holy crap, that just, that changed my life. The Isaac Cappy uh, video is what really um, set me off into this journey and, and I remember what my dad had been telling me so I started researching and what I found has caused me to um, just scream it from the rooftops. I mean, in addition to that, my friend who who really got me started on this, God bless her, she's just as traumatized as I am from all the stuff we've seen, um, she had a video pop up on her Facebook feed of a young boy having sex with a grown woman, and she was so just flabbergasted, she sent it to everybody, like, hey, you know, look at what's going on here, and so we traced it back, we went back to find out where this came from, and come to find out there's like a honey hole of pedophiles, and just groups, groups of of thousands of thousands like 700,000 was one of them of pedophiles asking for people's whatsapp numbers trading you know tra trafficking the whole thing I mean like blatant videos I mean I have another video on here um, that goes into detail and I'm going to be doing digs um, that's gonna be showing some of this stuff I I hate to show it to you but uh, it's here and I mean it uh, it, it's terrible, and I can't even believe that it's horrific, and I can't believe that it exists, and, um, and I, I have a hard time, and, and after the first day that I saw all of it, I laid on the edge of my bed, and I cried, because I couldn't, I couldn't believe that was actually happening to our kids, and I started reading the statistics. Did you know that 2,000 children go missing a day? 80,000 children go missing a year in America. That is two thousand children a day two thousand children a day <laughs> everyone's concerned about wearing masks and grandma and grandpa and covid what about our children okay what about our children so once i saw that i i I had to. I had to. It's my duty. It's my duty. It's our duty as, you know, parents, their parents, aunts, uncles, sisters, friends, you know, it is our duty to to protect our children. And we're not doing our duty. And these people come out and they groom our children. They're grooming us. They're grooming us. Hollywood has groomed us. Look at it the way that they groom us with our political views. Everybody thinks that Donald Trump is a monster. Anybody who thinks that I'm sorry, you have not done your homework. You don't know what's going on. I am not afraid to say that. You have no idea what is going on, and you listen to mainstream news, and you do it's cool, and you think you, you know, you're doing the right thing. Well, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're looking at someone like Joe Biden and Obama, who are pedophiles. They're pedophiles. There is, it's kind of come out. There is proof and evidence. These people are pedophiles, and you are supporting them. And, and those of you who, you know, have unfriended why I'm so outraged and why you need to be outraged. Why you need to be outraged. You need to watch your children on these phones and the apps and the games on the Xbox. I mean, they groom people over Xbox, you know. And I'm going to show that to you. <laughs> so strap in. Um, get your minds open. Get grounded in some self-care. And start t listening to some positive um, motivational garb in the morning. That's what I try to do. And some good music. And strap in for quite the ride. Because this this is demonic. This is sick shit. These people are sick. And I'm tired of sitting on my ass. You know, I'm tired of sitting around. So I joined Our Rescue. And you guys can go to a Rise Up demonstration in your town. If you don't have one, put one on. If you'd like to find out how to put one on, message me. Um, our rescue is Operation Underground Railroad Rescue. They uh, work to end slavery, human trafficking, and children, um, children being enslaved. And children having to perform sex acts and all that horrific, terrible stuff. They, they are the war against pedophilia. Thank God. Thank God. So join us. I just joined. Um, I'm part of the Spokane chapter. I am trying to open a chapter in my local area. But um, if you have uh, a need for that in your town and you want to get involved, message me. And the Rise Up demonstration is on July 30th. Um, for more information, 
please be sure to join my group, Don't Fuck With Kids, or QAnon Welcome to Wonderland at Facebook. And with that, I bid you adieu. I will bring you more videos and do some digs. I look forward to digging with you 